thing on? Hello? Yeah, mic check? <laughs> All right. What's up, everybody? It is Chad coming to you from the bowels here in Los Angeles, California. And unfortunately for you, you're stuck with me for this update video because I'm flying solo while Rose is in Albuquerque doing the family thing. I just wanted to put a quick update video together for those of you who have reached out to us asking why we haven't put a YouTube video out in a while. It's been just about a month and I apologize for that. Uh, last we left you, we were in Shangri-La, Brazil. Now, since that time, Rose and I spent about two and a half months exploring all of southern Brazil, including the Pantanal, the world's largest wetland. We crossed through Paraguay, back into Argentina, hit the Andes Mountains again, up into the Bolivian Antiplano, hit the Salt Flats, all the way to the north out of La Paz, and dog-legged into Peru, where we spent about a month exploring the Sacred Valley, went over to the Amazon and checked that out for a while as well, and then cruised north up into Lima. And from Lima, we flew back to Los Angeles, where I sit today. Now, what you just saw on screen right there was a screenshot of our polar steps. Um, it tracks us in real time, so we will put a link to that down in the uh, comment section below if you want to follow us there. But that brings us to the question, why are we back in the States? Slowly but surely, over the last 10 months that we've been on the road on this leg of our trip, our gear has just started to fall apart and give up the ghost. Most recently, unfortunately, our computer, which prevented us from editing and posting any new videos. But the computer wasn't the first to go. We'd lost a camera. Camera, we'd lost a drone and for the most part like my riding gear was falling off my body it had a hundred thousand kilometers on it and it, I was ready for an upgrade and just about the time that everything started to fall apart uh, my dad who some of you may remember from our trip down route 66 together he unfortunately had another stroke so that was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back Rose and I decided to put things on hold for about a month fly back to the US do the family thing, use that as an opportunity to kind of regroup and resupply. And I also just so happen to have a couple buddies that have a, a, an amazing moto shop right there in Lima who agreed to hold onto the bike for us. But better yet, we have gotten some support from some amazing companies like GV and our friends over there at Climb and Double Take Mirrors. Not only is the bike getting a tune up, I got all new gear. Uh, the bike's going to have new luggage when you get back down there. So we're going to have new equipment, new gear, new luggage, new everything. It's going to be kind of a fresh start uh, heading north out of Lima. We're going to get into that, obviously, in more detail in some videos to come. But we just wanted to, like, th you know, give them the shout out and say thank you so much. We really, really appreciate the support. All right, so that covers the updates, the apologies, the shout outs. And now I can rest assured that the punters tuned out long ago. And those of you still watching the video are the people I really want to talk to. That brings us to the meat of the video. I have a request for everybody still watching. We recently just hit 4,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. Uh, we surpassed 13,000 followers on Instagram. Uh, from both Rose and myself, thank you guys so much. Uh, those of you that have been with us from the beginning know how and why this channel started. And this is way more than we could have imagined or ever hoped for. Uh, this was really just a... Uh, a creative outlet for me and something to pass the time and it turned into something much much more than that we've been honored enough to meet some of you in person even ride with some of you I hope to be able to meet and ride with so many more there's a couple of you out there that scare me a little bit but I mean that aside um, we've really built a, a great community and that's uh, those of you that are watching so thank you guys so much <clears throat> moving forward though I have admittedly been pretty lazy when it comes to editing the videos. We don't do things like set up, fix shots. I don't do any color correction. Basically, it's just a real nuts and bolts moto vlog of a guy and a girl with a helmet cam. We take you guys along for the ride. You know, there isn't a whole lot of storytelling uh, involved. We, uh, we try to keep the drama to a minimum, but we have had some requests from people uh, over the last couple years. One of them, for example, would be interactive maps. Now, if you've watched the videos for a while, you realize I've toyed around with different maps. I haven't really been happy with any of the animated map templates out there, but I haven't given up hope on the animated maps yet. I'm still hoping to find one that's accurate enough and 
you know somewhat aesthetically pleasing uh, another request out there that uh, you know less of me skinny dipping more of rose <laughs> that's something i don't know that i'll be able to help you out with but in terms of like moving forward i really want to up our game uh, i want to take my editing my storytelling just the, the whole experience to the next level and so i'm reaching out to you as our viewers to ask you what do you want more of what do you want less of what would you like to see us change do you want more interaction with locals do you want us to focus more on local cuisine uh, historical or cultural sites um, this season we've intentionally done our best to try to avoid our life off the bike because quite frankly I don't think we're that interesting but would you like to see more of kind of like the the behind the scenes um, I don't know shoot us a comment let us know what do you guys want to see uh, it's gonna take me a little while we've got new hardware new software uh, new toys new gizmos and with this new editing format we're gonna play around a little bit so please be patient it's gonna take us um, some time to kind of like settle into a new groove I think we hope to see more of you down the road uh, there are more videos coming please be patient and uh, yeah I don't know what else to say Peace out from Los Angeles. We will be back in Peru in less than a month. And the journey continues. I don't know what else to say. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'll just turn it off now. Where's the off button?